Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial and in the previous um, tutorial I showed you how to do and add some simple background music just with adding an empty game object, adding an audio source and then adding your actual audio to that and we looked at don't destroy and load so we could keep it across many scenes. Now from the things that people have mentioned in the comments, if you move from that scene and because don't destroy and load keeps it between as many scenes as you want, if you go back to the actual main menu, you're going to actually run into issues where it'll just duplicate it itself and you might get essentially, you know, 17 different versions of the same thing playing over and over, so that's not what you want. So we'll look at doing a singleton today and it's something where it takes a little simple bit of code. You can go more advanced features of a singleton, but it just allows us to keep one instance of one particular object at any one time. So if we've got, say, an audio controller or a game manager, we can do that really easily. So what I've got in my scene is I've got just a normal scene with an FPS controller. I've got an audio controller, which is just which is just an empty game object. And you can go game, um, game object to the top, create empty. I've got two scenes, one called scene one and scene two. They're both exactly the same. I just duplicated one that I'd made. If you go to file, you want to go to build settings, you want to add them both to the build settings so we can test this out. So what we can essentially do to our audio controller is, this is just an example, we can add a component and we can search audio and we can add audio source. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one of these fantasy music volume 2 free music tracks. And you can find that on the asset store and we can put that on loop if you so wish to have that as sort of like your background audio between many scenes. So we actually want to write the code to be able to do this. And so in your project panel you can right click create and choose C sharp script. And we can call this something like single audio manager. You know, you can name this whatever you want, it's just something that you want to do when you decide. And what we do when we get our first script is I will get rid of the two starting methods. So we're starting afresh essentially. So we're going to start by writing a static reference to the instance that we're going to create. And static just means that it's a variable type which can be shared across all instances of the same class essentially. So it's just a nice way to keep all this together. So what we can write is um, static and you want this to be the name of your script because this is the thing that we're going to directly reference the single audio manager and have this as type instance with a semicolon. Then we have void awake because we want to do this as soon as the actual game starts before any other method just so that we do this before anything else so there's no problems down the line. Then we want to say that if the instance that we're looking for is not equal to null then we'll add two curly brackets below there and we'll say destroy game object with a lowercase g. What that means is if the instance is not equal to nothing, so if instance equals something, we must have a game object there that exists in the world. We're going to destroy that game object so we can't make a duplicate of it. So what do we need to do if it's in the case of um, making sure that if we don't have the instance already, we want to make sure that we keep this object. So so now what we want to do is go to and create an else statement. I'm going to have two curly brackets below uh, this statement. And then we're going to say that in this case, instance equals equals this with a semicolon. And then we'll say don't destroy on load in brackets. Then we'll say game object with a lowercase and then we'll add a semicolon. So what this essentially means is if you know, we're not going to destroy the object because it didn't already exist as an instance. We're going to say the instance is this game object and we're going to make sure that we don't destroy it. And I've just added in some functionality so I can uh, move scenes with one and two on the keyboard. So I've just used a input get key down one and two to move to my different scenes. So you don't have to worry about that. You only have to worry about this section in particular. But this is just so I can show you the example working. And we go into Unity, go into our audio controller that we've got and we can add this to here, you can see that we don't need to do anything. You'll see that when I press play, you'll be able to hear the music and you can see in the top hand corner here, we've got Dot Destroy and Load and you can see that the audio control is there. And if we move to scene two, you can see at the top, we've moved to scene two up here. And if I press one on my keyboard, we can move back to scene one and you can see that the audio controller, we still only have one of these. And then, you know, if I open and close, you can see that I don't have multiple, I'll move back to scene two, move back to scene one. 
and we've only still got one of these audio controllers. This can go a long way with helping you just get to grips with just creating an instance, destroying it if you've already got something there. If you haven't, fill the instance in and don't destroy and load and just keep that persistent across as many scenes as you need to. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.